She's been in Colombia for just three to five days, doing a very neat and tidy tour, spending time with the people holding children visiting schools with the vice president. It's been absolutely wonderful, but just when you thought it couldn't get better, it did. It shocked many, including me, to see online yesterday that she was at a seminar or panel talking to people and decided to speak in Spanish. This is incredible because Spanish is the first language spoken in Colombia. And the fact that Megan, wow, I just called her the queen, the Megan haters are going to hate that was doing this is what I was going to say. To me, it feels like she's the queen of the nation. This is what Meghan and Harry could have done if the UK weren't so frustratingly annoying. They could have helped modernize the monarchy because what they are doing on this tour is absolutely amazing. I'm just blown away the outfits, the colors, everything is intense across the board when it comes to what's going on in Colombia. I think I posted a quick video two days ago to let you know what's happening, but I didn't expect her to sit there and speak Spanish. I can't believe I just called her the queen, that's so funny, but that's what it feels like. It's giving royal queen vibes, and I'm so sorry to those critiquing her outfits or whatever, but who cares? The people want to see her. There are lines of people in different countries. The vice president invited her, and she's there with the children. The people want her, and they want to be with her, that's what a tour is about. You want to be there for the people, whatever it may be, and it's just fantastic to see. So, the fact that she's speaking Spanish guys, what the heck someone who could have been in the royal family doing things like this. But apparently, to those in the UK like Charles, William, and Camilla, it's not about what makes the royal family look best. They want to look the best. It's a popularity contest, and that's what it's always been. They fear those who are more popular, like Diana, and they definitely want to eliminate them in some way because they want to be the ones in the spotlight. King Charles must be fuming because first, they went to Nigeria. Second, they are now in Colombia. Third, they are everywhere. Fourth, their actions, like speaking Spanish, have positively shocked people in Colombia. All the attention is on them. There's been almost zero attention on King Charles throughout his entire reign. At best, attention has been on Kate. Anything about Charles was in the news for a week or two, and then people just kind of moved on. So I know it probably frustrates him immensely that he can't have his moment because Meghan shines. They must be fuming because this is exactly what they wanted to remove from the royal family. They were likely so happy when Meghan and Harry left the royal family. But the thing is, while they tried to bury them, they didn't realize they were digging their own graves because you can't bury Meghan and Harry. They are going to keep outshining them effortlessly, and it's just so nice to see it's so seamless.